What's up, you guys? It's Nicole, and I am here for a story time video. Woo! Yeah! Thank God it's Friday. I am so excited to be done with work, even though I only work two days in a row, and then I have two days off, and then I have and then I work two more days, and then I have a day off, and then two more days, and then, you know what I mean. So, I'm just so excited that it is my Friday, and I actually have two days off, there's no corporate meetings, there's no reason for me to go in and give off my days off, so I'm just so excited to have my two days off, I'm so looking forward to it. So I'm going to start that off by telling you guys some crazy stories about my job. <laughs> this video was inspired because something absolutely insane just happened yesterday? No. Not yesterday, but the day before uh, at my work. It started making me think of all the crazy stuff that's happened at the, my place of work ever since I started working there. Like, there's just crazy stuff that happens all the time. So, yeah. So, first of all, I'm just gonna let you know that I work at a truck stop. I'm not gonna say in this video what truck stop, like, what the name is, even though a lot of you guys probably already know. I know that I haven't, like, been secretive about my place of work. A lot of you guys already know what truck stop I work at, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna mention it. And if you don't know what a truck stop is, it's basically a gas station, but also, like, Mainly, the majority of the customers are uh, the big semi-truck drivers. Uh, that's where they go, is the truck stop. Friday night, a man died at my work. He lost his life, spent his last minutes, his last hours on this planet at my work. That's already just a lot to take in, like what? Just imagine if somebody just died at your place of work, like how insane is that but either way the story of that so the other night on uh, Friday night there was a man that came in to my work and I wasn't on shift at this point um, this was like all talk through all of my other co-workers and also uh, if you don't know we have an ex-roommate and one of our very very good friends we moved him here uh, to Oregon and that's Zach. So a lot of you guys already know who Zach is, but for those of you who don't, Zach is a very good friend of ours. I also work with him. I got him hired at the place that I work at. So yeah, but Zach was there. Basically, uh, this man, he uh, was coming in to my place of work and uh, he was already like, you know, he just looked unwell. I, I want to say that he was overweight, that he was just like a really big man, you know, but he was like walking on a cane. So I guess later on, like in the night, somebody had said that there was a man um, on the bathroom floor. They went in and checked on him and uh, sure enough, this man had passed out on the bathroom floor and he was like coughing up blood or like, you know, bleeding, you know, from his mouth or something. One of my coworkers, which she's a uh, manager there, it was like her shift, you know, she was like the shift leader or whatever. So she uh, goes in and checks on him and this guy is like on the floor, unconscious. So they call 911 and uh, my other, there was another uh, manager there as well. So she went in and uh, she tried giving the guy CPR and he wasn't, you know, he wasn't responding. She's like giving him CPR and he's not responding and so the paramedics show up and long story short, uh, the man had died before they even found him. So he had been dead. So at this point, it was all like really confusing because at first, you know, the only thing that they knew was that this man showed up and they had noticed him, you know, they'd seen him, whatever, and he just looked unwell. And so he goes into the bathroom and I guess he had told um, these two or three grown ass men that, you know, he was going to lay down on the floor. And, you know, right there, you know, right there, you would think that these grown ass men would have said something like, oh, no, sir, that's not a good idea. You don't want to lay on the floor. You know, it's a bathroom, a truck stop bathroom, the men's room. And these people just thought it was normal that this man wanted to lay down on the floor. And it was later on that a couple teenagers uh, found him and was, and that's how, you know, our workers became alerted that there was a man on the floor. After they found out that he was dead, then um, obviously they called the coroner and you know they came and take him away, blah blah blah. Yeah, like the weird thing was that this guy like in his truck he had uh, two 
animal crates, you know, like he had service animals, but the crates were empty and nobody knew where his animals were, like his dogs. And uh, the officer that showed up, he was trying to find, you know, like his family and all that, and they couldn't find any family members except for like, you know, how they worded it is, uh, his next of kin was from 2006. I don't really know what that means. I would assume that it meant something like, you know, his closest relative was from 2006 as far as they knew. That was really sad because like immediately I'm just thinking like, oh my god, how horrible, how horrible that, you know, this man spent his last hours alone, you know, dying on the bathroom floor of a public truck stop. I just want to put out there that I give my deepest, deepest condolences to this man, you know, my deepest respects to this man, and I am just like so heartbroken over how that happened. He had been like going to like hospitals, you know, like trying to figure out what was wrong with him. Which, by the way, before I go any farther, his cause of death was a heart attack. He had gone to like the hospital, like he had gone to like two or three hospitals before he went to my work, and uh, each and each and every one of them released him. They sent him home. Yeah, but basically, uh, yeah, a man died at my work just the other day. So that was pretty sad. That was really crazy. Oh, and the reason I brought up Zach was because Zach, he works in maintenance. And this is also, I don't agree with this at all. Um, not even a little bit, but Zach came in and after they got the guy out of there, they had him clean up after the guy. They So Zach went in there and cleaned up after the dead body. And some of you are probably wondering, like, oh, what did, what did he have to clean up? Uh, I guess, like, the guy had, like, thrown up and, uh, he, you know, blood, he was, like, bleeding out his mouth and stuff, so Zach had to clean up the blood and the throw up that, you know, his bodily fluids that he left behind, so... There's also one time, so this is the first one that's coming to my brain, so I'm just going to tell you guys that one. But there was one night, um, this was quite some time ago, but, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure how long ago, but it was quite some time ago. We also have, like, in our store, we have a subway, so, um, there's our side, which is, like, the truck stop side, and then there's also, like, a little miniature subway in the corner of the truck stop, and, uh, they've got, like, a full team there, and supervisors, and all that, like, my boss is the main manager of the subway and uh yeah so but either way there was this girl that worked there and uh she was working the night shift and um I guess like she was like helping this guy and uh <laughs> before I get into this story let me just tell you guys human trafficking is a real thing it's real have you seen Taken? it's a real thing uh there was a man that uh came to subway and one of the workers she was like a young pretty girl so um, yeah, but she was, like, helping this man, and I guess he was, like, making, like, weird, flirty comments towards her. Like, I guess he told her in Spanish that her mother was pretty, you know? And it's just like, what? Like, that's a weird thing to say, okay? So she was going to the girl's bathroom, and I guess this guy that was, like, telling her her mom was pretty was, like, waiting there, you know, in the hallway. And he, like, grabbed her arm and tried pulling her into the men's bathroom. And she, like, pulled away, and that's, like, what you can see on the on the picture, you know? Like, because they got, like, a snapshot of it. Sorry, the sun just started, like, shining in my face. I'm using the light, the sun, as lighting, and it's, like, not working for me anymore. But, yeah, so, like, he tried grabbing her and uh, pulling her into the bathroom. And, like, that's what you can see on the pic- or on, yeah, on, like, the- picture is that this guy like straight up has like a grip on her wrist and she's like pulling away like you can see her like pulling away and uh I, I don't know I don't even think that she screamed or did anything I think she just like you know kept pulling away or whatever and eventually he like let go and then like he dipped out you know he just dipped out and we never found that guy ever <laughs> and uh, like we have like his picture and stuff so I think that's why you know he's like on camera but yeah he never showed up and then, uh, there was one night that I was out, that I was at work, and I was, like, sitting, or standing outside, this was when I smoked cigarettes, because this was, like, some time ago as well, and, uh, it was actually the same night that, uh, this girl almost got pulled into the bathroom, but, um, yeah, I was, like, standing there, and, uh, this man, like, walks out of the, out of the, uh, building and I was like standing out front of the building and he walks out of the building and like he just like looks really like uh 
like rowdy you know like like he's like on one you know like he's just like super on one and like he like walks past me and stuff like he's all cocky or whatever and then he looks at me and he like he like kisses at me like he's like and I was just like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Uh, he's like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but, um, either way, yeah, and then, like, I hear on the radio, because we all have, like, headsets, we have, like, radios and stuff, but, like, I hear on the radio, uh, one of my coworkers, he's, like, the truck stop veteran, like, he's been there for 20 years, like, he's been there the longest out of everybody, <laughs> and, uh, so he always, like, gets himself into trouble with people because he can, but, um, because he can get away with it, but, uh, yeah, so, he starts, like, freaking out on the radio or whatever, and, like, going off about, like, how this man just came in there and was, like, threatening to, like, shoot up the place, and, like, he was, like, like, he walks in, the guy that just, like, blew the kisses at me and stuff, like, he walks in, <laughs> into the store, and, uh, he's, like, oh, if I was gonna shoot up the place, this is, a, this is the shirt I'd be wearing, and he's, like, I'd take, and he says, like, this big type of gun, he's, like, I'd take my blah, 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 and just, bang! bang bang and that's like what he told my coworker, and um uh, my coworker's like on the radio like freaking out like this guy's being freaking crazy i don't know what he's got planned blah 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 and so of course my coworker like tells him like you need to leave like what the hell who says that and uh like right after the he told him to leave is when he went outside and he was acting all rowdy and he like blew kisses at me and stuff and like yeah, so, like, later on, like, they go to his truck, because, like, they called the police, because, like, that's a regular occurrence at my place of work. Like, they always have the police there for some reason or another, but, um, they called the police, and, uh, the police showed up, because also there was, on that same night, a truck driver, uh, was being, like, uh rowdy and drunk like he was like drinking and like stumbling into his semi truck like he was gonna drive it and so they called the cops for that and then all of a sudden you know this started happening so it was like a two-in-one <laughs> but um yeah so they arrest the guy that uh was gonna get in his truck and drive drunk his freaking semi truck so they arrest that guy and then they go check uh check on the guy that was like being a crazy person okay and they like check out his truck and they find a gun in his truck <laughs> so it's just like um that's like really scary that you would come in here and be like oh if i was gonna shoot up the place this is what shirt i'd be wearing and then they go into his truck and search his truck and they find a fucking gun i'm gonna end this unless i can think of anything else i'm gonna end this with a kind of uh funny story at least i think it's hilarious and i really wish that i could share footage of this because i still have the video on my phone and it's so fucking funny Ugh. if i if i can find out a way to like insert this video i absolutely will but it was so funny okay so the situation isn't all that funny but hopefully you guys will be able to laugh with me because this i just find it so hilarious so let me give you a little background on this so um like i said we have a subway in our uh place of work and pff, sometime last year uh we had this guy that worked at the subway and he was a supervisor there and um this was like last summer okay he, you know, was getting to that point, like we all do, where he was just like, you know, I, I want to quit, I kind of hate this job, it kind of sucks. I also had a new deli girl at this point, so she was like a new hire, and still to this day, I freaking love this girl. She doesn't work there anymore, she quit a while back. So, she was a blonde, she was like this cute little blonde, and, you know, she had such a bubbly and fun personality, and she was just so fun, I loved her to death, and, uh, but she was so ditzy, you know, like, she was so, <laughs> she was so ditzy. The subway manager, or the subway supervisor, uh, the one that I'm talking about, he was like a bigger Hispanic dude. One day, Mr. Subway Manager dude, he gets fed up. I don't even remember why. I don't remember why, but he just got to that point where he was fed up. He was done. It was his day to walk. He was walking out of this place. So, <laughs> so he, how he does it, and I, this is what I have footage of. I have footage of this, and I just want to insert it so bad, but I don't know if I can. But either way, he gets pissed, and he's just like, I'm done. Man, I quit. And he walks out and rips his shirt off, literally rips his shirt off. His buttons go flying everywhere, his subway shirt, poof. You're thinking like, oh man, this is serious. Oh my God, like how, how scary, this man's pissed. And my little deli girl, she's like standing there like bringing out pizza and stuff and she sees this go on. It's like, it happens like right next to her. 
And she looks at him, she's like, I know, it's hot, right? <laughs> That's a knee slapper! That's a freaking knee slapper if I ever seen one. Oh my god! God, sometimes I just watch the video because in the video you can't see her. You just see Mr. Dude whip his shirt off. And, like, I always tell people, okay, watch this video. And they see it and they're like, oh, man, that's, that, what the hell? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, now watch that video again. But this time imagine little deli girl over here. I know, it's hot, right? <laughs> she had no idea. No idea that he was freaking livid. He was pissed. He was walking out. She's just like, oh my god, it's so normal to rip your sh shirt off right in the middle of your workplace when it's hot. I love that girl. She's so funny. Oh my god, I miss her so much. <laughs> oh, okay, but yeah. I can't think of any more stories right now. If I do, I will definitely record them and insert them into this video. But man, that was good shit. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And if you liked it and want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as well. We put out... We put out videos pretty regularly. I can't say that word. I don't know why I always try and say the word regularly. I can't say it right. It feels weird in my mouth. Like, it's just not going to come out. We put out videos quite often is what we do. Because I can say that. But either way, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.